Up to this point, I've been using a safety vest on the monster for better visibility when I'm out. I just wrapped it around the seat and it works just fine. The problem being, with the new batteries on the back, and once I start doing my trips, uh, I'm going to be having a backpack hanging off the back of the seat, so the vest isn't going to be visible anymore. So what I've been wanting to do is put a slow moving vehicle sign, a triangle, on the back. Uh, the issue I'm having with that is they're actually quite expensive. It kind of shocks me for what they are. Uh, in my area anyways, all I can find are the steel ones, and they're about 30 bucks. Uh, it's just, they're, they're pretty heavy anyway, so I, I kind of want a plastic one. I did see one at Canadian Tire at one point. It was yellow and orange plastic. It was the right size. And basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to put LEDs inside it to illuminate it at night. I thought that would be kind of neat looking. But I'm thinking it may have just been a temporary product, a promo product or something. Because when I actually went to get one, it didn't exist anymore. So Heartway actually makes one for the monster. I was going to show you this. Unfortunately, whenever I try to access their website, this is what I get. So they have been under maintenance for at least two weeks now because I keep trying and trying and this is the only thing I ever see from the website. doesn't matter what page I try to access. Yeah, it kind of makes me wonder. <laughs> but anyways, the ones that the Hartway makes for them, there's a frame that it fits on. And if you notice on the roll bars, if you actually have one, there's a whole bunch of holes in it. That's, that's what this is for, these accessories. So I won't be getting one from Hartway, and the reason for that is they want $100 for it. Yeah, but it's it's pretty big. It, it covers pretty much the, the entire opening in the back of the uh, the roll bar. So I went searching, and I actually found one at Walmart. And basically, what it is, it, it's a emergency triangle. It, it folds up and stick it in the trunk of your car and if you have a break down the highway uh, take it out and unfold it and it, it works pretty good so that's why I went with it, it was only ten dollars it's kind of small but you know it, it's there it's visible and it's plastic if I want to at some point in time in the future I can put LEDs in it but it's it's not really all that thick so I might not have that option but uh, that's a future project anyways so I will show you what it is that I got and how I'm planning on using it. Let's put this on, but in order to make a frame, I had to have the batteries in first. Oh! I'm just wondering. Because this is actually three pieces. Or should I keep it together like that? Or... I separate them and put them on... I don't know, maybe I'll keep them together. Because I got this plastic ridge in the middle that I can drill through for screws. So that would be like perfect for that. Ow, 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 ow. And I have an idea for mounting that too. So then once this is on there, then this frame that I will put across here will create a gap that I can put my purchases in because the battery rack kind of takes up that space. I don't have to buy any steel for this because I've already got it. So that's a plus. This is 
reflected on both sides. Because this is really cheap plastic. Flimsy, flexible. But the whole idea is to fold up. It's, it's from an emergency kit. You put it in your car. And if you have a crash, or a flat tire, or a breakdown, it's got a carrying case bag thing that it sits into. So you pull it out. This took me a while last time too. <laughs> Go away, mosquito. I figure it out. Can I move it up that way? Mm. What are you holding on to? It's so worried about breaking it. Your hands fit this thing. You have to come up on this end. On this end. You have to. You don't have a choice. But it's... Clip thing there. And that's what's holding it. This clip holds just too tight. For it being closed, it holds it too tight. You can see it being important to hold it open, but not hold it closed. That's just dumb. And it's because it's reflected on both sides, and I don't need both sides. If I just use the reflectors. And I can use both of them and make it bigger. And of course, thinking about that now, that's all I really needed to do. All I would have needed is to buy a bunch of these reflectors and just cut them the length that I want. Because these things are expensive. You can get one of these, specially designed for the monster. It's really big, it takes up a lot of space. A hundred dollars. Uh, no. I'm going to interrupt here for a quick update. I decided to check Google Images to see if I could find a picture of the still moving vehicle sign for the monster. So I typed in Vita Monster um, on Images and I scroll down somewhere here and I found one right here it's got the, the triangle on the back so I'm going to view the image directly you get a pretty good view of it right there uh, the other thing I noticed here is this is Scooter Direct so I decided to visit to see if they had any better pictures of it and this is not Hartway they've got this brand name on this one is EV Rider uh, there's that's three different manufacturers that I know of now so anyways I scrolled down here and there is my review video and all the, the details and everything that I have on YouTube so that kind of caught me by surprise that explains why I've been getting so many views on that video lately because it just all of a sudden it just got super popular and exploded in views and I wasn't really sure why so that kinda, I thought that was kind of cool I found that accidentally but anyways, there's a good picture of the triangle right there. Let me zoom in on it. I guess I can't scroll. So, it's, like I say, it's a fair size. It wasn't as big as I, I remembered it being, but it's a fair size. And they want $100 for it, so that's, the price is a little crazy. I wouldn't pay that much just for the sign, so that's kind of why I went and got my own. So I just kind of wanted to show that. But I found this. And I think I think I paid ten bucks for this, if I remember correctly, which I probably don't. Why? Oh, the heck is that? I guess that's what they use for weight, but I'm not sure what that is. That looks like. It's 
I almost, you know, I kind of hate to say it, but that looks like cremation ashes. It's very, very fine. I don't know what this is. It doesn't feel all that heavy. It's not sand. It might have sand in it, but there's all kinds of other stuff. There's shiny little particles. And all I can smell is plastic. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> so I guess that's what gives it its weight. Uh, so when it's sitting on the road, and the traffic's flying by you, laughing at you for breaking down. And the wind would blow this over or spin it around or whatever. So I'm guessing that gives it its weight. Uh, if I was actually going to use this, I would put a little more weight in it than that because it doesn't weigh that much. But that's the plan for that one. That's where that's going. Before I get into the task of preparing the wires for the external batteries, I'm going to go for a nice relaxing tour down the, the rail trail. It's nice and warm today, so perfect day for it.
My plan for working on the wiring got delayed. Yeah, a good chance of thunderstorms for today. I can work outside in the shelter when it's raining, but if there's thunderstorms, I, I don't feel safe out there. I can't work out there. So rather than take the chance on getting the monster all taken apart and you know, halfway through the project and have to abort and come back into the house and go back and finish another time, I just decided just to wait. And we didn't get much along the line of thunderstorms, but we did get some rain. And it did pretty substantial rain at times. It came down really, really heavy. So, it had decided to wait a couple of days. And then finally, finally, get out there and start working on the wiring. Okay. I think I am finally ready to wire up the second set of batteries. The next step in the conversion. And, uh, I'm a bit of a scare the other day. I don't remember if I video of it or not. I was getting a rattling noise in the fender again. The noise that I usually get before ball joint breaks. And I said, no, they can't be gone already. So I was coming, I just kind of wiggled back and forth. And I could feel thump, 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 and I could hear it. And I watched this one, the lower ball joint here. And it was moving back and forth. I was like, oh, no way. Turns out, <clears throat> the lock nut on the top of it came loose. I don't know how a lock nut wiggles free like that. I've never had that happen before. But thankfully, that's all that was. So now, I can't, oh, I'll get into that later. Then you get started. <clears throat> hey, the worst part of this. Worst part about doing anything with the scooter is this stinking seat. Oh, knock it out. Spiderweb, go away. Why are you sticking? Stay. That's probably going to be in the way there, but... Oh well. I mentioned before with the batteries on the back this thumb screw in here is really really difficult to get out because I can't reach it from behind because the bar from the roll bar is there so there's just enough room in the front to get my hand in so I can't over tighten it because if it gets sticky I'll never get it out so that's how I have to unscrew it. Got a finger on each side and just keep wiggling it a little at a time. It works. Oh. So I had a quick idea the other night. I don't remember what it was. I know it was when these are off. Put a zip tie on there. I'm not 100% sure I can trust it though. That's the thing. Let me use these so I can pull them tight. I might be able to use this to, to hold it on. So hopefully, actually, 
not be able to pull this out. That might work. <laughs> it's actually holding pretty good. I'm impressed. Because there's a ridge on the top, and the zip tie doesn't want to slip over that, and I'll part on the bottom. So this one just falls out. Now on the bottom, it's got this part here. So when the zip tie's in there, it can't slide past that part, which is cool. But this one's like seriously loose. Look at that. It's not even close to staying and it just falls out. So. That's great. That's just awesome. I like that idea. The thing is when the wire's on here. If this one's disconnected. This one will be connected. So either way this wire is going to be charged up. And it cannot come off of there and start hitting like the frame or whatever. Fireworks. Thought that might work. That just might work. And I got this stupid clanking noise in the back. Sounds like another sticky hinge somewhere. Oh, I'm getting creaking too. Squeaky, squeaky. <laughs> I don't mind the squeaking. It's that creak right there. That is what I don't like. Now you gotta figure out what that is. Because I think I've lubricated all the joints back there and I can't find it. But then I drove in that really heavy rain. I washed all the lubricant off, likely. Wow. Perhaps the frame isn't as strong as it looks either. As I'm wiggling this. It's actually twisting. So when I pull back on it, these sides pull inwards. And then when I push forward, they spread out. And you can see it right here too. That's moving. That's kind of scary. I don't like that. Can you do right? You know, one thing for sure I won't do, I won't buy one of these again. Okay, that's a long one. I start with the shortest, that's a long one. Okay, these are all long. Okay, that one's shorter. the shortest okay so the shortest one's going to be from negative to negative oh my goodness I want to cut these because I need the absolute minimum length possible just to reduce <coughs> excuse me To reduce the amount of resistance and the length of the wire that I'm using. As the longer the wire is, the more resistance there is, and the more the wire actually takes up the power from the batteries. So I'm just going to do this roughly at the moment because I want to solder these tips on. I just crimped them last time. I don't want to take a chance of them falling apart under stress. Okay, 
you can go straight down. Now to here. There, okay. Well, let's find out. Definitely gonna be long enough for sure. For that one, I can probably cut about a foot off of that one. But I like this terminal better. I guess it doesn't really matter. Both conduct. They don't have to be pretty. Uh, okay, you come down here. Ow, 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 ow. Kneeling on stones is not a good plan. Okay, I don't want you rattling on there. So, what I think I'm going to do, reroute it. I am going to put you through here instead. Will that work? That work. You have to put something on here. Because that corner, this flexes a little bit. So it's only clamped on at the back. The rest of it's being held down by gravity. So this will be bouncing around, it'll wear through that. Not that it matters, it's negative anyways, but even still, it has to temporarily keep it in place. I don't know why I'm alternating these. It's gonna look like it's from McDonald's. Well, the red might actually match this, but the yellow. But when I put them on permanently, I don't want these to be visible anyways. It looks like crap. Okay, when I do these permanently, I'll give you a closer look at what I'm doing. For now, I'm just kind of like, hello. I'm just kind of putting things together. Just kind of getting a feel for everything, where everything's got to be. good. So it's a good thing I didn't come up and touch the positive the thermal. <laughs> so I should watch what I'm doing, huh? Okay, so I can't cut off as much as I thought I could. Uh, I don't like how that's pulling on that plug. I'm gonna move that. There we go. Much better. So you can go around. Actually, maybe I don't need to cut any of that off. It seems to fit just nicely. Just nicely. Okay, so that one's okay the way it is. So I'll leave you right there. And so that's the negative. on there just to help me out please yes excellent the worst thing about all this is I've had what I've needed for like three or four days now and I just I've been sleeping days I haven't had the the energy or the motivation to do this and everything's ready I just got to do it. Okay, so the next shortest. That one 
looks really, really long. Which I guess both of these are. Okay. So this will be... Stop it. That is not connected. I'm just going to make sure I've had enough battery problems I don't need any more. Okay. Plus two. And, well, I guess I can't reach negative, can I? Okay. Negative, positive. 12.6, and at this end, not a thing. Wiggly, 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 makes no difference. Okay. So we're good. They're supposed to be disconnected anyway, so I just wanted to make sure. Not something I want to take a chance with. Okay, so you... Okay, that is not grounded, so I can probably put that on and not have to worry about anything to shorten out. Hopefully. Uh, these long bolts might be overkill. Oh good, they fit. But as long as they work, I don't care. Just for now, just to get this done. Okay. So as long as I don't touch... Actually, it's not connected anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, this one has to be down with this as well. Same place. that way and just to make life easier I'm just gonna tie it right to the other wire <clears throat> now if this whole idea works and it actually gets me to Alan Park then number one I'll be very happy and number two I'll be replacing these wires because these Wires here are 6 gauge. Yeah, 6 gauge. These are 4 gauge. When I did my calculations originally, I went by voltage and current, potential current, and I come up with 6 gauge. Then <clears throat> I realized when everything's tied together, it's 24 volts and not 12 volts, so I had to recalculate. That got me to a 4 gauge. Now, <laughs> the problem I got is I only measured from one terminal to the battery, the other terminal back, and I came up with about 10 feet. So, that's where I got the 6 gauge from, or the 4 gauge, with the 24 volts. Then, I realized, <laughs> again, everything's tied together, so the entire circuit is actually 20 feet, because it's doubled. It's 20 feet instead of the 10. I can't believe how much the salt has destroyed this. So ultimately, I need two gauge wire. I can't afford that right now. So, as I get some money, I'll just kind of replace these wires one at a time. And just... The batteries will just last longer. That's the big thing. But the internal batteries are going to get me to and from. These are just for playing, so if they drain, drain quickly, I think it's really not a big deal. Not too worried about it at all. Well, not much anyway. 
The other thing I'm struggling with right now is there's storms coming again this afternoon. And that's after the <laughs> torrential downpours we had overnight. Rivers didn't look any different today, but that's today. Yeah, they take a while to peak. Okay, let me do this. Get up to there. Get in the hole. Uh. I want it over like that. Actually, yeah, that might be a good idea. Bring it straight out. Okay, so you're good there. I'll tie you up here. The worst part about doing all this is that these wires are actually blocking the tail lights somewhat. So I'm just trying to get them where they're, they're the least bothersome. There's a big tail light in the center, which also acts as a brake light and a backup indicator. It's already partially blocked by my trailer hitch right in the center. So couldn't find my bolt cutters inside, so I figured they were out here. Okay. Just a little extra, I guess. Right about there. Well, that was pretty cool. <laughs> it stuck right into the side of my coffee cup. Right into the lid. Wow. That was... I couldn't do that if I planned it. Oh, the lid's not leaking, so that's good. <clears throat> okay, so there's one. One that I gotta do. And that's that side. I gotta do it again on the other side. Uh, now those two are the two long ones. They used to come in down here, under here, and up to the same hole. But I'm not doing that this time. <clears throat> because they come from over here, all the way over to here, and then all the way back over again. It's just, the cord's almost twice as long as it needs to be. Whatever you want to do. Oh my, I can see the clouds coming in already. Okay, I can see a disaster waiting to happen, so I'm going to move that now. And this can be plugged into the same source as the camera, so I, I'm assuming... Hey, little spider. I'm assuming it's going to interfere with the camera a little bit. With the audio. And maybe some electrical noise in the video as well. Don't know. Find out later. I think it's so easy to draw through. Okay. The shorter of the two. Not that it makes any difference because these are way too long anyway. And they're both about the same length, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter. 
I'm gonna start at the back. No, up here. Okay, I gotta check the radar. So I don't wanna leave this open because if we do get a bad storm and something happens to this, I don't want this to be open and exposed to rain. It would not be a good thing. Okay, so down the inside of... How did I do that? Inside of here, okay. That's gotta go backwards before it comes forward. Yeah. Kind of a repeat of what I did on the other side. Just like that. Okay, I gotta check. Gotta see how the weather's doing here. Uh, up here, if I'm not getting my internet connection over here. I can turn that on. Sometimes I can get it out here, sometimes I can't. Pick up everybody else's around me, but they're all locked, so I can't use those. Okay. I've beaten up my fingers pretty good in the last few days. Oh my. There's a big mess of stuff out there. But it looks like we're just going to get the edge of it for now. It's hard to tell. I'll take a screenshot. I'll show you what I'm seeing. Later on in the video. But it is coming towards us. The bulk of it is south. So we're not going to get dead on by it, which is good. Come on. But it looks like we're going to get something. So I got to get moving here. I would like to finish this today, but I know that's not going to happen. I'm not going to have the energy to do the whole thing today. <clears throat> but if I get the wires measured out and cut and soldered and everything, I'll be happy. I will be a crappy hamper. And yes, I said that intentionally. Instead of happy camper, I said crappy hamper. Now that is something that fibromyalgia does to me. It makes me mess up my words like that. But sometimes I just do it intentionally just because. I've also got my own language. I made up my own words for certain things. Like when something is broken, I call it busticated. Okay, how did I do that? It is too that far, okay. When I do a lot of work, or when I go for my bike rides, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Afterwards, I say I'm exhaustified. <clears throat> Which is a pretty good way to put it. And I'm pretty much getting that way really quickly right now. <clears throat> when I do this permanently, I gotta take these batteries off and clean them up. They're really, really dirty. They've been dirty since the first, first time I put them on. Because they're sitting outside the door there and they ended up getting fire extinguisher dust on them. Whoever invented the zip tie? Well, I hope that person's rich. Because these things are just absolutely amazing. Uh, they get my vote for one of the most amazing inventions created. I used to think Velcro was. 
the buckle wasn't really created. It was copying nature. Because it, Velcro, the design of Velcro actually exists already in nature. So, somebody just used that to their advantage. Okay, now, where's the hole? Where's the hole? There it is. Lay down there. Okay, so this one I need to be careful of because I don't want to be touching the terminals. Okay, they look like they were loose for some reason. I don't want to be touching the terminals of the controller. <coughs> That's the problem with this wire. <clears throat> the thicker you go, it's negative. Wow. The thicker you go, the harder it is to bend them. And they don't like to twist very well either. Okay, it would there. Give it a little extra. Just in case. <clears throat> nope, didn't go all the way through. See, that's quite a bit of wire. It didn't need to be on there. <clears throat> Extra resistance. Okay, so that's a negative. Let me disconnect you now. Okay. You stay. <sighs> Last one. <clears throat> okay. So you are not connected, so that's okay. We're good to go. Okay, I want you about like that. And pull these in a little bit later. For now, I'm just gonna go to a different one. Okay, I'll put these two together and I didn't need to, so I might as well use them now. And I just never really finished the story I was saying before about why I haven't been doing this because I've been sleeping days I haven't had the energy this and that and when I was up at night whoop, don't do that I just really didn't feel like coming out here I did not and the reason for that is because once it starts getting dark in the evening, the flies out here drive me absolutely insane. They won't leave me alone, constantly buzzing around my face, which annoys me. I don't mind flies in general, but when they buzz around me, especially around my face, it's just a little too annoying for my liking. And I get frustrated really, really, really quickly when that happens. <clears throat> so by the time I think it's cool enough to actually sort of kind of work out here in a good, decent temperature. And the flies are out, and I can't. And you're probably wondering what I'm talking about, because I'm always saying how I love it when it's hot. Well, I do. I just don't want to work in it. It's awesome for playing, not for working. If anybody's had an outdoor job, you will understand that. <laughs> 
just like rain. I don't mind rain. I love the rain. I love getting wet, dirty, muddy, whatever. But I do not want, ugh, do not want to have to work in it. Unless it's something that can be done when it's raining. I, mean, I had a bonfire oh, back here one time. Everybody told me I couldn't have a fire because it's raining. Want a bit? Pouring rain. The wood's wet. Yeah, I got the fire going. Just like I promised. <laughs> it's not hard to do and you know how. Okay, let's make sure. Yeah, you're good. So I had another thought front here as I was thinking instead of these being back here I can bring them up here I was thinking, when I switch these over, I have to cut the top panel here anyway, so I gotta cut it back, so I can reach these, all I have to do is pull it up or out, however I'm gonna do it, and I take these out of here, and I put them in here, so there's only gonna be two of these, so I can't have all four together at the same time, I don't have to worry about screwing something up that way. But what I was thinking, I actually just thought about this last night. <coughs> is if I have both switches up here. And I don't need to take the cover off of this I can, it's just it's a pain in the neck. Well, as it is. Negatives are all going to be together. The negative of that will directly connect to the negative there. And the only one that's going to be switched is the positive. I wasn't too impressed with it.